Okay, we are using our integration skills to find the areas between curves. So to do that, um, it's really quite straightforward, sort of common sense if you think about it. So if we have a simple example, y equals x squared and y equals x to the fourth, we can quickly picture that as a parabola going up like this. And then y uh, equals x to the fourth is sharper. It hugs the x-axis before it zooms very steeply upwards. This point of intersection, of course, is going to be 1, 1. So this area that's trapped between these two curves, this little sliver here, is simply the area under the x squared, subtracting then the area under x to the fourth. So the integration is really very straightforward. We're just going to integrate from 0 to 1 because the other intersection point is here at the origin. And it's going to be the upper. You just have to make sure you know what the upper curve is. It's x squared. Subtracting the lower curve, x to the fourth, dx then. So that's a very straightforward 1 third x to the third minus 1 fifth x to the fifth evaluated from 0 to 1. 0 plugs in there, and so we just get 1 third minus 1 fifth. So what is that then? That is 2 fifteenths is our area between those two curves. All right? It's not always that simple. A little bit more difficult example uh, would be maybe uh, two parabolas that uh, trap um, some area, and we need to do a little bit of solving first. So let's see, let's try y equals x squared minus 4x plus 5, and y equals negative x squared plus 6x minus 3. Okay, so if you're trying to find the area between these two curves, uh, sketch them out. Uh, to do that, uh, you can pop them into your calculator, whatever. You'll see that uh, if we use like the minus b over 2a uh, formula for the axis of symmetry, very handy to know. Axis of symmetry. Um, we would get uh, minus a minus 4 over 2 is positive 2. So it's 1, 2 is where our vertex will be along. If I plug in that 2, I get 2 minus 8 is negative 4, plus 5 is 1. This is opening up like that, opening up like this. We do the same thing with this. It's going to be a negative 6 over a negative 2, which is positive 3. So the other one has an axis of symmetry out here, 3. Plug in 3, and I think we'll get 6. So this is opening down like that. And we need to find this area between these two curves like that, okay? So we need to solve for those two. If you sub um, or let these equal each other, you're really subbing this in for y since it's equal to y, we get uh, x squared minus 4x plus 5 equals negative x squared plus 6x minus 3. Shove everything over to one side, we get 2x squared, and then minus, when I take away 6x, 10x, add 3 plus 8 equals 0. I'm simply trying to solve this so I can take out a 2 and get x squared minus 5x plus 4 equals 0. That fortunately factors very easily for us x minus 4 and x minus 1. Of course, if it didn't, we'd have to use a quadratic formula. We'd have uglier numbers to put in. Thank goodness that didn't happen. So we now write our integral, which is going to be then, well, actually, let's write our solutions here. When is that equal to 0? That's when x is equal to 4 and negative 1. So if I put those x values in, I'm going to get 1 uh, 1 comma 2 and 4 comma 5 as my points of intersection. So I'm only looking at the x values. Uh, I wrote negative 1. That's silly. That is, of course, plus 1. Um, I go from 1 up to 4 then. 
and the upper curve is the one that's facing downwards, so it's negative x squared plus 6x minus 3, and then I'm subtracting the lower curve, which is the x squared minus 4x plus 5, and then I'm taking that integral. So I can distribute the minus sign in, I can combine terms, it's going to look familiar from when we solve this. I'm going to get minus 2x squared, and then minus a minus 4x is plus 4x, so it's 10x, and then minus 8dx. Uh, when I go to integrate this, I can pull out um, a negative 2, and when I pull out that negative 2, I get x squared, this is still going from 1 to 4 up there, x squared and then minus 5x and then plus 4 dx. So when I integrate that, then I will get the minus 2 and I get uh, 1 third x to the third minus 5 halves x squared and then plus 4x, and that is going to be evaluated from 1 to 4. All right? So now it's just a matter of doing, grinding that out and getting a solution. All right? I think that um, if you plug those numbers in, well, I'll set it up. Minus 2, and then that's going to be, when I plug in 4, that's going to be 64 thirds, and then that's minus plug in 4 there, that's 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8, minus 40. And then when I plug in 4 there, plus 16. And then minus, this is going to be uh, 1 third minus 5 halves, and then plus 4. Okay? Uh, I've got thirds here. I think it might be easiest just to bring in the negative to each of these and then see what I've got. I've got minus, minus 2 then times uh, this is going to be 21 and 1 third and then negative 40 plus 16 is going to give me minus 24 for that and then uh, let's see so if I'm subtracting minus 1 third that's kinda handy and then I'm adding 2.5, I'll go decimal, and then I'm subtracting 4. This will get a little bit easier. Minus 2 then times, well this 1 third will cancel with that 1 third, and this becomes then, uh, let's see, 21 minus 4 is minus uh, 3, and then minus 4, and then plus 2.5. I'm breaking this down too much, but oh well. So what is that? That's negative 7 plus 2.5. Uh, might as well multiply it by 4, multiply it by 2. So that's negative 14 and then plus 5. Whoops, positive 14 minus 5. Oh, my goodness. And that gives me positive 14 minus 5. Last time I checked, that is 9. I like those nice round numbers. All right. Maybe we'll come back to this example later when we're looking at volumes. Okay, but that is the concept, areas between curves. Sometimes it's handy if you've got curves that are going like this, that you evaluate them in terms of y, because it's too difficult to evaluate this as an integral that has x as the parameters. It's easier if this problem was sort of turned on its side. You're just going between these two values here, like that. But that's just a matter of switching up your x's and y's. It's not different in terms of a concept. All right, hope that'll get you started. Good luck.